Welcome to another episode of Stories with Dr. Brown. We're going to go take a brief dive back into history of medicine through our wonderful uh, pictorial atlas here. The conquest of yellow fever. Methods of controlling and preventing yellow fever resulted from investigations conducted in 1900 in Cuba by a United States Army Commission led by Major Walter Reed. This research proved conclusively that mosquitoes carry the yellow fever virus from person to person. In a letter to his wife, Dr. Reed states, I thank God that I did not accept anybody's opinion on this subject, but determined to put it to a thorough test to see what would happen. Actual trial has proven that I was right. This is when Dr. Reed was stationed in Cuba in December of 1900. He was sent to Cuba by the Army Surgeon General to head a commission to study yellow fever, and he was on the thresholds of discoveries that would unlock secrets of propagation of that dread disease. Where yellow fever originated is still a controversial question. Some authorities trace it back to Mexico in the 15th century. Others believe it to have been reported in Africa as early as 1585. It has been said that no European writer mentioned the disease before Columbus's day. But older records are not easily interpreted, and yellow fever has borne at least 152 names during the course of history. A most dramatic record of its devastation is to be found in the writings of Dr. Benjamin Rush and others concerning the epidemic of the yellow fever in Philadelphia in 1793. This was but one of the yellow fever's visits to the United States ports. Yellow fever is reported to have caused 41,000 deaths in New Orleans alone. Yellow fever, also known as black vomit, as it was known, defeated more Spanish, French, and English expeditions in the New World than did military action. The first man to be exposed to contaminated mosquitoes was Private John Kissinger on December 8, 1900. Kissinger had been the beginning of a well-defined attack of yellow fever, but Reed did not depend on diagnosis by his staff alone. As a result, it was then determined that mosquitoes were the sole reason for transmission of yellow fever. Romantically, the yellow fever story might end here, but the tiny virus that causes the death-dealing disease is not romantic, nor is it choosy about whom it attacks. Thus was yellow fever, the scourge for centuries, conquered in the half century. It has virtually vanished from the world's major cities, but pools of the virus that defy eradication still lie deep in the world's tropical jungles, passing unnoticed from animal to mosquito to animal back and forth. The infected mosquitoes will not hesitate to feed on humans when they come in range. In this day of rapid worldwide travel, of pushing back of jungle frontiers, of exploding populations, vaccination is the only method available for protection of persons likely to be exposed to the risk of jungle yellow fever, and for the protection of people living in communities which may be visited by travelers who have been to the tropics. So this is a fascinating story of how a plague had occurred for centuries and only through dedication of Dr. Reed and his colleagues were they able to finally uh, understand the carrier was mosquitoes and that by eradicating mosquitoes you could control yellow fever and its spread. So that ends another short story with Dr. Brown. I uh, hope you enjoyed that and uh, come back for the next episode. And if you happen to find any of this interesting or more importantly if you want to collaborate check out the link below so that you can send us your comments any stories you may have anything you know we're happy to entertain it and uh, this is really about us going on a journey together